Hello, Virgo. It's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot. And I'm coming to do your weekly general reading in the week of April 18th through the 25th, 2022. The cards I'm using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I'm closing off with my... Ooh... Tarot Apocalyptus is by Eric Doom and Kim Huggins. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. All right, more foes. Let's get this show on the road. All right, so it looks like somebody got some kind of love connection getting ready to start or going on here. Okay, mm hmm. I do feel like what did it say? Kissing the divine in another in yourself. Mm hmm. So this could be somebody loving themselves or loving somebody else, okay? Yeah. Let's keep going. Let's see what this is. Yoink. All right. So I do feel like uh somebody I feel like somebody may be coming back from a trip or coming somebody left somewhere and they coming back now, okay? Um I do feel like somebody might have left home, but now they're moving back. Okay, somebody could have went on a trip and they're coming back. Or somebody may have was getting ready to leave, but they decided not to. Okay. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. All right, so we got the Yamaya card reversed here. So I do feel like this could be some childhood sweetheart energy. Um, somebody could be dealing with a child's parent. Um, but this also makes me feel like somebody is growing up. Somebody got to let somebody grow up or mature, okay? And I feel like I'm losing control of something or someone, okay? I got to let them go. All right, so we got the Divine Sensuality card here. So I do feel like I have to let somebody grow up. I have to let somebody grow. I do feel like I really love this person. I care about this person. But this makes me feel like it's not a... Uh, it might be like a child parent thing. It's not like a... a, a romantic relationship here it's not a romantic relationship okay all right so we got the visions card reversed here so i do feel like what's going on was about to happen in this relationship you didn't see it coming okay somebody just out of the blue decided that they wanted to uh change something do something go somewhere yeah i do feel like this is a, a guardian kind of relationship here um, so we got the divine, I mean, the, the future fate card. Okay. And it's reverse. This makes me feel like something is getting ready to happen and it is fate for it to happen, but I feel like it's not going to be a great thing. Okay. Like I remember when I was younger, I always wanted, I want some mail in my name. Now I'm like, okay, throw it in the garbage. Okay. I don't want to see any more. Whatever got my name on it. I don't want to see no more bills. Okay. But this is somebody trying to grow up or trying to step out or trying to do more than what they're ready to do okay like what they're ready to do and i do feel like it's not gonna turn out good but i feel like it's gonna be a life lesson okay you know sometimes people gotta learn stuff they self all right so we got the present card here so this makes me feel like of course you just need to be there for this person you just be there for this person. I know this is not something you want. You ain't something you asking for. You did. It's unexpected, very shocking. Um, but I do feel like this person is gonna need your help. Okay, and it's just like you know, just be there for them. But this present card makes me feel like that's what's happening anyway. That's what you're gonna do anyway. You're gonna be there for this person. All right, so we got the vulnerability card reversed here. Okay, so it looks like, of course, when this person get out and they're doing everything, oh, they're going to start making mistakes. You're going to see the mistakes coming. 
Um, I feel like they're not going to want help. Um, but I feel like, of course, there's ways for you can help this person. And the only reason I'm saying this is because it keeps showing me this love card. So you really want this person to succeed. I do feel hurt and shocked that this happened. But I do feel like I don't want this person to fail. Okay? Nobody wants their loved one to feel like a failure. Okay? Niece, nephew, son, daughter. Like even a partner. Okay? Like somebody think they ready to start walking or running or talking or whatever, driving again. And you don't want to take that from them. You just want to make sure, you know, they have everything they need. Okay? All right. Okay, yes. So we got the boundaries card here. So just make sure you ain't overcrossing this person's boundaries. Okay? Well, that's what we do. You know, when we really care about somebody, sometimes we... We overstep our boundaries, but that's what this card is saying. Just make sure you watch, you know, how into the business you are, okay? All right, let's keep going. All right, so we got the timeout card here. So this makes me feel like, yeah, you're going to need to take a break, okay? Because this is definitely a shocking situation for you. Um, You want to step back and take a break and think about everything that's going on, okay? Um, I do feel like for um, a lot of you, either this was the last person or the last child, and I feel like, or the only child, okay? Um, I do feel like you just need to take some time to think about it. But I also feel like, you know, of course, they're going to be back, okay? And just for you to be there when they get there, that's going to be good enough, Okay. No, I told you shows. It's just life. All right. So we got the freedom card reverse here. This is how it is. Okay. Seems like somebody was busting out trying to be free. But now, of course, they're going to be on their way back pretty soon. Okay. All right. So let's see what's going on with this. What? All right. That's too many. Okay. That one made his way out. So I do feel like somebody getting ready to get their money tied up all over the place. Um, I do feel like you're going to end up having to help this person out, even if it's like telling them how to get out of it. Okay. But I do feel like you could begin ready to bail them out as well. My camera is all jacked up, y'all. I don't know what happened. All right, let's keep going. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Callie, stop it. All right, so we got the tower card here. So I do feel like all of a sudden destruction, okay? So I do feel like this person is going to boom, leave all of a sudden. But I do feel like they ain't going to be as ready as they thought they was. Six months to a year, they'll be back, okay? Um, for some people, maybe even less than that. I hope they able to make it the six, uh, the whole year. Because, you know, you can mess up some stuff real good in that one year if you're not paying for it. Princess of Pentacles reversed here. So, some kind of unexpected bills getting ready to come. Okay. Somebody was not ready at all. Okay. Things are not as easy as they seem. Mm -hmm. Unexpected bills. I do feel like some kind of demotion or job loss happened. Or somebody just underestimated the car cost of running a household okay so we got the full card reversed here somebody planning a new start and not saying anything about it okay mm -hmm. being sneaky they'll be back all right so there we go we got the lover's card again so look you're gonna reach out and help this person when they need help that's what we do like, I'm going to help you as long as you're not, like, running wild. But if I see you doing anything crazy or, like, blowing money or uh, doing, uh, you know, stuff that I can't even do, <laughs> I won't help you. Okay? But if I see you just trying to do what you need to do and you're struggling, I'll be there for you. But I do feel like this person just is going to need help. Definitely a life lesson going on here. Let's see what's going on. With this page of pentacles. Yep, somebody gonna lose their job. 
Ace of Pentacles. I feel like lose their job, and I do honestly feel like they're going to lose some kind of place that they have as well. Okay, then they're going to be coming back to you. So we got the Wheel of Fortune here. So I do feel like when this person comes back to you, I do feel like they're going to have a different mind thought process. Three major arcanas here, definitely a life lesson. Uh, yeah, it's not that easy. <laughs> it's not that easy running a household, okay? Um, so definitely that's what this person is going to see. And I do feel like when they come back, they're going to have more um, respect for yours, okay? So let's see what's going on with this lover. All right, so we got the Ace of Cups reversed here. So it looks like not only did they uh, lose a, a job, I do feel like somebody lost a partner as well, okay? Somebody lost a partner, and I do feel like a... Oh, man. I mean, I did it to get together with somebody, and you just think that's it. You know, you didn't sell everything and give everything away that you got to be with this person. And then y'all living together, and next thing you know, y'all get into it, and then you end up losing everything. They ain't paying, I ain't paying, I ain't paying for nothing you living in, I ain't paying for nothing you living in. The passion and the care and all that stuff dwindled away real quick, okay? Now we're starting over new. So we got the Four of Pentacles again. This is where the money is all tied up. Money is all tied up in this place where this person is not living or can't live no more, okay? It's just like... I still got to pay these bills until the end of this or you got to change this over to that, you know. So somebody got a whole lot of, um, what do you call that, um, unfinished business going on here. But, um, yeah, they're going to need your help to get up out of there because they are trying. But other than that, that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thanks for watching.